be realistic. Well, here's my answer to that. Do you know what your limits are? And the answer is no, no one does. Success requires action and action requires thought. But here's the catch. The only actions that become springboards to succeeding big are those informed by big thinking to begin with. And I used to think that my marriage and relationship with my kids, it would never change. But then I started thinking, but what if it could change? What would that look like? And that was one of the biggest shifts that I ever made in changing the trajectory of my marriage and my family. I started playing all out and I went big and then everything changed. But most of the time we don't play big for this very reason. And I'm going to talk to you about an experiment with fleas that actually proves this. So the experimenter took a group of fleas and put them in a jar with a lid on the jar for three days. Now the fleas were bouncing up and down in the jar. They're trying to get out of it. After three days, the experimenter takes off the jar. I'm sorry, takes off the lid of the jar. The fleas now had the ability to get out of the jar and escape. But guess what? They didn't. They were conditioned to their upper limit of what they believed. And interestingly enough, their offspring, their kids, if you will, develop the same conditions. So how you show up now gets passed down.